15 years ago with the mission to offer America's favorite pastime, baseball, to all individuals with any type of disability. It's an inclusive um, league from the ages of six and up. And our league is mostly run by individuals who want to volunteer, who want to be a part of community. And they just come out to have fun. Um, the league... <laughs>
coach Oli Hernandez uh, from Puerto Rico. I've been here uh, 16 years and I've been coaching for the last 10 years. I feel fire, passion, uh, love for the sports of basketball. I, uh, um, for being a woman, it's a, there's a lot of challenges out there. And a father, you know, of two beautiful daughters, um, I feel the, the, the challenges. So uh, I want to make sure that I personally I provide the best for them so they could for learn and, and embrace whatever they learn from me as a coach and as an individual. My expectation is to make sure that everybody recognizes Orlando Hoop. Um, doesn't, you know, you could win a championship, but nobody knows you, no, nobody, not even like your neighbors know who you are. Yes, you want a trophy, but you didn't create the purpose and the reason how you or why you won the trophy.
Boom Sports Academy is a sports organization built to suit the needs of the youth in our community. Boom was solely founded upon the idea of uniting local communities and neighborhoods through sports. Here at Boom Sports Academy, not only do we provide elite training to our athletes, but we also capitalize on building a total athlete. Our uniquely designed sports programs range from academic tutoring, mentoring, community service, and so much more. This process also consists of our community outreach, where we engage our athletes with local churches, food pantries, and other businesses in an effort to restore the culture of our youth. Anyone can make a change in their community. All it takes is a... about 15 years ago with the mission to offer America's favorite pastime baseball to all individuals with any type of disability. It's an inclusive um, league from the ages of six and up. And our league is mostly run by individuals who want to volunteer, who want to be a part of community. And they just come out to have fun. Um, the league is very supported by the Orlando Boom. This is been almost four years since you guys have come out and they look so forward to having volunteers and show them how and show them how um, they play baseball and just make friends and they could be friends with the community and just to show the community that they are inclusive and you know just like everyone else who just comes out to have fun and have a great time.
forward to entering into the second half. Second half scores. West Orange Warriors 25, Lake Mary Rams 20. Uh, big shift in momentum. Big shift momentum from the first to second quarter where Lake Mary Rams were very aggressive going towards the paint. Uh, was look, looking for and getting everything that they wanted regardless of what calls were being made. Um, Warriors clamped down on defense a little bit and obviously uh, the foul count showed for us. Uh, and West Orange Warriors better run for it and here we are. Third quarter's away. In the sixth Flip freshman with the nice up and under. Jasmine Gibson brings the lead to seven. Jose Antenna on a man to man full court press. Looking to find some momentum. You guys down the middle. Get to Woods, to Gallon. Over Fader at three. And it's hauled in by Gibson. To Gillard. James. James setting up, looking for a screen and roll. And they find James in the paint for a left-handed no-call layup. So the lead is up to nine for the West Orange Warriors. Santana with the ball on the right side of the court, looking for the screen. Defender goes under it. Hand off to Briar McGowan to Jayla Woods. Attempts a layup, left-hand layup, and it's an and one rolls in with 6.55 left There'll be another shot at the free throw line. And it's probably the key to the game, getting the ball inside, making the refs blow their whistle, which is on the contrary on the first half. So Jayla Woods is at the line shooting one. And she converts to and one play. So now the Lake Mary Rams are down by six. Freshman Jasmine Boca with the ball for the West Orange Warriors. To Gillard. And it took the spin move, a non calling that one. Stolen by Jordan Bowie as she goes in transition by herself. The roller down the lane is missed. So Gibson fumbled the ball, hopping off of one foot, fumbled out of the bounds. So Lake Mary Rams will get another crack at it under the baseline. 632 left. And the Warriors up by 6, 29 to 23. Jayla Woods is getting down the ball here. With a baseline play, lob to Jordan Bodie. A little bit of contact, but there's a no pause. You see by Brian McGowan, gets it back to Jordan Bodie, number 22. To Woods. Back to Bodie. It's a reset on the play. A size up by Jordan Bodie. So she attacks the lane and she is fouled on the play. That foul is going to go on number 32, Kayla Cruz, the senior. Centeno with the ball. It's a Woods. The Jordan Bodie off of the handoff. Has a wide open mirror and jumps out of the attempt it and is missed. Doesn't hit the rim, but it's a two-back pair of It's just a second check. Melvin is good. It's quickly transition by number one, Jasmine Boca. 5.43 left in the game. And the Rams have turned the lead to four points, 29 to 25. Gillard with an attempt to make a move. Throw in the lane and it's short. Held by Kira Frazin to Bodie. She got in transition on the right side of the court. With the set of step goes baseline, looking for an open man. Attempts a layup by Bree Gallon. Doesn't hit the rim and it's retrieved by the six foot freshman, Ms. Gibson. To Boca, left side of the court. Attempts a left handed. All in by Jordan Bodie. We're on the five minutes left in the third quarter. West Orange Warriors up 29 to 25. Jordan Bodie attempts a dribble drive. A little floater pass to Jayla Wood. Jayla attempts a floater flying out of bounds. It's called in by Kim Cruz as he attempts it at the court.
Double screen. Hand off to Lugo. And a three-point shot attempted, and it's off. And it's a battle of the trees down low. Two six-footers and two five-foot closer to six-footers. And West Orange retrieves it, but it turns to be a jump ball, and it's Lake Mary Ram basketball. to Bodie. That is four court by Boda. Bodie with it. Down the lane drive and she's fouled. Pushed from behind from number one Jasmine Boca. And they're trying to figure out if it's on the floor. They're shooting. Looks like they're going to be shooting too. So there's 32 seconds left in the third quarter. Lake Mary Rams trail by 10 as voted with the first one and now it's 9. 40 to 31. She 
this is the second. Retrieved by Bryant. Looks like a travel that wasn't called, but she got the outlet, so now we're in transition. Lugo with the three, and she misses. Retrieved by Bryant. That is a big body. Six foot one senior, Lakeda Bryant with the offensive rebound, seeking out contact, finds it, but misses the layup, but she'll still go to the line for two. Watches the first one. Twenty-two seconds left in the quarter. Nine-point lead and an advantage to the West Orange Warriors. She hits the second, so the lead is now in addition to one point. So they are up by ten, and they immediately line up in a full-court man-to-man press. This is the body. 18 seconds left as she advances it up. She takes a look at it, recognizing what time it is, seeing what she can work with. She makes an attempt down the lane. And a charge, another charge is called. This time she found freshman shoot. Junior, excuse me, shift in the way. And that is believed to be the fourth on number 23, Jordan Bodie. Five seconds left in the quarter. A high ball screen set for Gillard. Attempts a buzzer beater. Oh! And it's hit off the glass. As the quarter ends, we're heading into the fourth with a 10-point lead. West Orange Warriors, 41. Lake Mary Rams, 31. Action. As play sets up, West Orange basketball, eight minutes left. Last quarter, final showdown, 41 to 31. In Inbound to Cruz. And she steps out of bounds. Looking for a momentum shift. It's probably going to have to start with defense and the defensive leader, Jettison Tunnel, number 12. She's going back into the game. She also has four fouls with number 23, Jordan Bodie. Centeno with it on the right side. Sends it down the lane, drive with the reach, and she makes the floater in the lane, cuts the lead to eight points. Boca with it. To Cruz. Denies the screen. Fumbles the ball, retrieves it. And Centeno, as predicted, She's fouled on the steal and breakaway layup. Misses it, but will have two. Let's see if she can capitalize. Number 12, Jettis Nintendo, really the defensive specialist of this team, is the engine that makes this defensive, defensive engine run. She, guard, she usually guards the team's best player night in, night out, or the primary ball handler, causing havoc. As she makes it the first free throw. The fact that she's in foul trouble is still 
keeping the level of intensity up without being hands-on says a lot about her technique and about her footwork. Hopefully she'll be able to last the rest of the game without getting another foul. As she makes the second and cuts the lead to six with seven minutes left, Jordan Bodie is subbed out for Andrea Garcia. Most likely because of foul trouble, so they might start the offensive defensive switch. Having Andrea Garcia on defense, which is not that much of a liability, with Jordan Bodie on offense. After dead ball. Really with ball. Attempting a lane driving. She flops, but refs see it otherwise that there's a call on the shot. And it's called against senior Jayla Woods. So she'll be at the line shooting two. I can hear in the crowd a lot of people saying ball doesn't lie. <laughs> she misses the first one. She'll have another crack at it. 7-12 left in the game. Warriors up by six. It's a major point of influence from Coach Knight as she's yelling box out. Second year head coach. And it echoes from the crowd as they like to see success from the rebounding section. Gilbert makes makes the second, so they need to box out. Here's Bodie down the court, guided by Cruz, and there's a double team. She beats the double team, makes a baseline, and a blocking foul is called on number 23, Ailey Shit. So we have number 23, Bodie at the line, shooting. So she's at the line for a one and one. Opportunity, takes it, makes it. So she'll have another one. She brings, as she brings the lead to six with seven minutes left in the fourth quarter. Takes it and makes it. Looks like the ball didn't lie on that one as she's sub as predicted for a defensive offensive switch. And here comes Andrea Garcia in the game. Gillard with the ball. Guarded by Centeno. Waiting for the play to develop. And Dixon denying the screen as she makes the entry pass to number 24, Gibson. And she misses. Probably a freshman mistake as she should have gathered into the smaller Centeno for her footwork. As Coach Rizzo said, she's 5'4", five, 5'0", five, and she should have made the layup. Now it's Lake Mary Rams basketball, and Jordan Bodie has it. Off the same setup. Dribble drive action to Jayla Woods for a corner three, and bang! And the lead is down to two points with that three-point conversion. Gillard with it. Started by Centeno. And here's a double on the pick and roll, and it's stolen by Jayla Woods. And it's a fumble. And Coach Peggy Smith making a veteran move by calling a timeout on the immediate steal. 6.15 left in the quarter. And Lake Mary Rams have cut the lead to two. Score is now 42 to 40. Ample amount of opportunities to seal a win here. And also ample amount of opportunity for West Orange Warriors to correct their wrongs. against Colonial High School out of Orlando, Florida. That game would take place at Lake Mary High School in Lake Mary, Florida. Tickets are available on the GoFan app if you are interested. The full court timeout is resumed and we are headed back to resume play. So it'll be sideline inbounded and it is Lake Mary Rams basketball. And Bodie is on the inbound. West Orange immediately lines up in full court man to man and is received by Centeno and she has down the court. Guarded by Boca. Good 
dribble drive offense to Jordan Bodie for a mid-range jump shot and she hits it so the game is tied with a little under six minutes left to go 42 to 42 here it is this is what we live for the game of runs known as basketball and she loses it off a screen and curl so it's a turnover in favor of Lake Mary and it's headed down white ball Bodie on the inbound Right by Cruz. And she sets up for a play. Hand off to Centeno. Dribble drive the woods. And she hits another one. And the Lesnar Rams regain the lead. 45 to 42. With five minutes and 25 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Gillen with it at the top of the key. Attempting dribble drive. Almost the by Bodie and Cruz back to Bertha at the top of the key. Guarded by Gallon. Big screen, three pointer attempt, and it's off. There's a chase for it. Bertha gets her own rebound for the shot. And she attempts, and there's a no call, which probably should have been a charge on the dribble drive by Jasmine Boca. Charge attempt taken by Jalen Woods, but the rest called nothing, and it is still West Orange ball. And down it to Giller. Giller on the dribble drive, and she hits the lead to cut the lead to one. And down to Centeno. Breaks down three defenders. Continues to keep going to baseline, and, she, and they call out of bounds instead of a foul. A very risky call by the referee as they've been making risky calls all night and it's turned over to West Orange. Back to Boca as she sets up at the top of the key. Back to Gill on her cut to number 23. She not really her game, but she attempted out of desperation. Called in by Woods. Gallon tries to make something happen to float in the lane with air ball. So we have teams desperate, and a foul is called on number 12, Jada Centeno. And it looks to be her fifth foul. So the, the referee doesn't seem doesn't seem to understand that it's the fifth foul, so they continue play. Boca with it to Giller. Back to Boca. To Schick, and a foul is called on number 32, Jayla Woods. I don't know, with four minutes left in a game like this where there's a one-point lead, you kind of got to let them play a little bit. Can't call these too tightly. As there are complaints from the crowd, as it's a little bit of unfair adjustment, so it seems. And Chick ties the game 45 45 with four minutes and five seconds left in it. Chick with one more free throw attempt. And it misses, but the referee calls a lane violation on West Orange with his Lake Mary basketball. So the game is left tied with four minutes and five seconds left. Several plays in foul trouble. But this has been one of the more physical games all year. Bodie with it, attempting to drive the distance, out pass to Jalen Woods for three attempts. One more pass, Ray and Celtics basketball. Rams take the lead and are up by three. Gillard guarded by Centeno. Dribble drive, no call again. Which probably should have been a charge, but instead, Gibson gets the offensive rebound and it's fouled from behind. Because number 24 probably expected a charge call, so she slept while the ball's in the air. Gibson retrieved it, attempted the layup, and was fouled from behind, so now she's shooting two. Makes the first with 3.39 left in the fourth quarter. 
with the Lake Mary Rams up by two. So she gets one more shot. I try to trim the lead a little more. She shoots and she hits. So it's trimmed to one. Santana is with it. She beats the full court press by herself. She has some offense. Garcia with it. She's a little cold, hasn't been in the game that much. So she couldn't really find her rhythm. Let's see how she addresses with the late game experience. Was with it with the entry pass. And she misses the wide open layup, which could probably be a key miss for the Rams. Boca with it. Back to James. Boca with it. Resetting the offense. Taking her time to shift. Not really a fit at the three-point line. And Calvez immediately met with contact, passes out to Broca to second the lane. Trailer finds the read. Scrambles for the ball. Ends up rolling out of bounds, and it is still West Orange's basketball. The ball will be taken out baseline. 244 left in the game. Lake Mary Rams up by one point. 47 to 48. Both teams in the bonus. Found it to Cruz to Gillard, guarded by Santana to James and a three up side of the backboard. Number 14, Zoe Calvez took an ill advised shot, but once again, she is a freshman, so late game nerves probably hit her. She's not used to playing this late in the game, that's usually number one's Jasmine Bocas position. But as we move forward, Jordan Brody with the ball. Lake Mary Rams up by one. Dribble drive offense to the corner for Brianna Gallon back out to Centeno. Centeno backs out, resets. Change of direction to Brianna Gallon for three. And a close one, but it misses out. And it's a sensible ball under the rim. And a jump ball is called. And it looks to be a change of possession to West Orange basketball and another substitution for the defensive offensive switch Andrea Garcia is subbed in for Jordan Bodie Gillard bringing up the ball two minutes left Lake Mary Rams up 148 to 47 to Dallas Sent by Santeno and it's stolen by Santeno. And she's hit on the call and she dies for her own mistake and the referee. Oh, a timeout. Great timeout by Coach Peggy Knight. As Jada Santeno receives her own fumbling of the ball while tipped behind by two other players. And it's a full court timeout from the Lake Mary Rams. Jim of Lake Mary, Jim of Lake Mary looks a little split today. Half Lake Mary, half West Orange. While fans in the crowd are yelling at the referee that Jetta Centeno traveled on the dive when the other half is saying, no, absolutely not. Coach Peggy called the timeout on the dive. But the play stands. Both teams going over strategy on the closing minute of this quarter as the Rams lead by one by a score of 48 to 47. Number 12 again, Jada Centeno retrieved the ball after losing it a little under the base baseline, so it'll be taken out on baseline Lake Mary basketball. Plays initiated. Bodie gets it, lays it up, and it's there. Another no call. Lay in by Jordan Bodie, and the Rams are up by three. 
Mr. Maddie, look for the dirty bug. Zero as the gym is rushed by a turnover. So what seems to have been happening on that play was he's looking for contact. But missed the ball. So now it's in the hands of Centeno going the other way. Centeno misses the time pass, gets it to Barty, and it's tipped. And Barty saves it to Centeno. Outward pass to Jalen Wolf. She saves it. And the lead of this team brings the ball out. Here's Barty on the dribble drive. The care face in. Oh, it's a layup on the dribble drive. Late no wall got by five with a little over one minute left in the game. Here comes Giller. And an immediate timeout is called by Coach Rizzo. And it's going to be a full timeout with 60 seconds in West Orange's favor. She intends the left handed drive and misses. Probably didn't need it since they're up by five points. And it's stolen again by Centeno. And she looks to run out the clock and she does. Smart play and the foul is attempted as they're in desperation. And the foul is going to be caught on number 32, Kayla Cruz. So being in the bonus, we will see Jada Centeno at the line. Shooting two. Four seconds left in the game. Lake Mary Rams up 47 52. And the first is missed by Centeno. She gets another chance. And to advance the lead as they are up by five. At this point, they don't really need any more buckets. Probably just make get another defensive stop, bring the ball out, get fouled, and knock down free throws, and there's the game. And both are missed. And Giller gets the rebound and they're out in transition. And Jada Centeno reaches. And that is five fouls on Centeno. So Centeno is fouled out of the game. But while she was in, boy, did she make her run. Four consecutive steals with clutch floaters in the lane and key defensive stops as Gillard is at the line. And she misses the opportunity to the Christian lead. Woods outlets it to Dixon, to Frazine, trying to find the best free throw shoot on the court and finds her in Bodie. So a foul has occurred by Boca. And Bodhi will be shooting two at the line. 20 seconds left in the game. Lake Mary Rams are leading by five. 47 to 52. Number 23, Jordan Bodhi, known as one of the team's better free throw shooters, steps up to the line. And she misses the first. And she steps up and makes the second. But the game is still a two-possession game. And if West Orange can... And a foul has been called on number 24, Troya Dixon. 
and they'll be one and one with the team's best free throw shooter. Who has been struggling tonight? Number 12, Ajalon Gillard. Being the captain, she's late for these type of moments. And she makes the first. So now the league is 48 to 53. Rams up by five. And she nails the second. And there's a meter timeout called by Toast Rizzo as he discusses what could possibly happen. And he gets 60, 60 seconds, 60 seconds, excuse me. A little hype over here to discuss what needs to happen. Strategy. Number 12 just hit both of her free throws on a one on one, -on -one opportunity. A dead ball called on the timeout. Coach Knight of the Lake Mary Rams are discussing offensive strategy, where the ball should be ending up at. And Coach Riso, on the contrast, is looking to possibly get a steal before fouling. The game is still within reach. It is a two possession game. So if they're lucky and they get it into the hands of a Troya Dixon or a Jayla Woods, who haven't been too consistent at the free throw line, they could possibly be looking at missed free throws. And the West Orange Warriors are in full court man-to-man -man and finds Bodie, which is what they wanted. Gets the foul and now she's at the line shooting two with 20 seconds left and a four point lead. And the foul is called on number 14, Zoe Calvez. More of the story, probably foul count. As Jordan Bodie makes the first one, and makes it a five point lead. Jordan Bodie attempts a second, and sinks the second, and it becomes a six point lead. Goes under 18 seconds left in the game. And here's Gary. Cross over, bounces off her knees, and she turns it over, and the West call. And they call West Orange basketball after a little bit of confusion, but a little bit of persuasion from the West Orange coach, Coach Rizzo. Excuse me, like Mary basketball. And Buddy finds it again, and she's immediately fouled. By number five, Janaya James. A little bit of mix-up on that out-of-bounds call as they had both coaches in the air along with the players. So now we have Jordan Bodie at the line with 11 seconds left to put away the game. And she makes the first. So now the Rams are up seven, makes it a three game possession. And now the defensive offensive substitution is being made. And it seems like number 23, Jordan Bodie put the game away at the line with 11 seconds left and eight seconds left. Trying to find a, a three-point shooter, finds number five, James. Not really her game, and you can tell that she misses the best way shot. And the Rams are the victors of this game, 57 to 94. Tugging with emotion, lack of calls, and misunderstanding on defensive rotations. But they find a way to make it happen with the final score being 49 to 52nd, 57. Special thanks to Boom Enterprise Network and Jesus Jesus Garcia Real Estate Team for the sponsor support. Once again, my name is Ty Knight. In behalf on Varsity Sports Network, good night.